Today I'm making a tomato basil pasta with fresh grape tomatoes. We're gonna start with just blistering the tomatoes in this hot pan with no oil. Let's do like half of this. Hey guys, come join me, we're making lunch. This is enough tomatoes? I think this is enough tomatoes. I wanna be able to read your comments. So I have these grape tomatoes I got from Trader Joe's. And we're just making a fresh tomato basil pasta. And we're just blistering the skin of these tomatoes before we add any oil. I just posted a, um, this recipe actually on my Instagram in Reels. But it's becoming so popular and I have all these leftover ingredients that I'm gonna make it again for lunch today with you guys. Hi everyone, how's your Saturday? Are you guys enjoying your Saturday? I'm hoping that you guys could just sit down, relax, and have some fun with me while I cook and make lunch for the family. So you can see the skin is starting to blister. Let me just show you one tomato here. The skin is starting to blister the tomatoes right now. Do you have to be cherry tomatoes or they can be any regular tomatoes? Well, right now these are just grape tomatoes. I used cherry tomatoes in the other video on my reels that I posted today. Um, I prefer these smaller tomatoes instead of like the regular Roma tomatoes because, I don't want my head, because the flavor is a little bit more intense. You have more of a tomato flavor, if that makes any sense. Okay, so the tomatoes are already starting to blister. We're gonna let it cook for just another minute before I add my olive oil. The hex clad is like non-stick, so I don't have to worry about like it sticking to the pan at all. I made your salmon dish today with my mom. Did you like it? Why no oil? Oh, I, because I was trying to blister the tomatoes. We're gonna add oil in just a second. I just want the skin to have, it just adds a little bit more flavor to the tomatoes, to the sauce. And I, I promise you, this sauce is so easy, but such a classic pasta recipe that everyone should be able to make it. But everyone should make this as a lunch someday if you ever make pasta. It's tomatoes, basil, onion, and Parmesan cheese, and olive oil and garlic. Like, those are so basic, but it's just these ingredients just step out and, like, so fresh in your mouth. We have leftover fettuccine Alfredo. Okay. In the UK are cherry plum tomatoes. Got it. Love my cooking videos, thank you. A quick and healthy, yes. Okay. I think our tomatoes are nice and toasted and blistered. And then I'm gonna add like a really good quality olive oil. I'm actually just making lunch and I decided to make this for you guys live because the, the recipe on Instagram that I posted is doing so well because you guys love it so much. I wanted to show it live. Okay, so you're gonna start like hearing some splatter because the um, juices from the tomatoes are hitting the oil. And it's fine, just step away a little bit further away. Hi honey. Hi. Mommy's making lunch. Mommy's making lunch. My daughter's here. Can you help mommy cook? Is it gonna splash on me? A little bit because the tomatoes, the juices are releasing from the tomatoes. Can you guys see that? Oh gosh, it smells so good already. Okay, and I'm out of fresh garlic because um, this week I made um, garlic, pickled garlic, and I'm out of fresh garlic, so I'm gonna have to use um, this minced garlic. But, if you have fresh garlic, use it because fresh garlic tastes so much better in this recipe. Oh wow, the skin is starting to blister a little bit more. And I have this fresh pasta. This is the pasta we're cooking with today. It's called oh, capellini. This is capellini and the pasta is really thin. I mean really, like even skinnier than thin spaghetti. So literally two to three minutes, sorry my face is itching. Two to three minutes in the hot water and take it out and I'll be like 80% done and we finish cooking in the sauce. 
Love your food and your face. You guys are so sweet. Are you gonna help mommy cook? Yeah. Okay. So the tomatoes are almost done, and what? Here's the fun part. I'm gonna have Shana do it. Are you ready to help mommy? Is he gonna splash on me? I'm gonna turn the heat down. So when the tomatoes are almost done, we want to pop them. So we want the sauce, right? So this is what you do, Shana. Come here. You take the tomato and you just squish them. Squish the tomatoes. Scared? Okay. Are you scared? Yeah, I'm scared. You just squish the tomatoes because we want all those juices. And it doesn't have to be like completely squished because we want some like chunks of tomatoes to bite into. I'm just reading your comments. God bless. Thank you so much. So far, we just have tomatoes and olive oil. Once these are popped, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic. Why does my screen keep on going dark? Can you use a potato masher? Oh, that's a good idea. I have one actually. That's a good idea. Let's see if the potato masher will work. Go ahead. All right. Thank you, whoever suggested that. I should put that in my video. Oh! <laughs> apron when you make this, okay? Don't, don't wipe that off. That's like my favorite TikTok sweater. It's funny. She's wearing, she's wearing a TikTok sweater and I'm wearing an Instagram sweater. It's like can be competing with a social medias right now. It's because, huh? It's just because it's comfy. It's, this is an Instagram whole outfit they sent me. Look, do you see the Instagram logo? <laughs> We're just chilling at home making, making lunch, so. But I did put makeup on for this video. He was like, oh, I'm making lunch, but let me just put some makeup on so I can show them how to make this pasta. Okay, all done with the squishing. You guys can ask questions if you want. There's, there's a lot of questions, honey. <laughs> you guys are great. I said you guys are great. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna read them. Hi. Next, we add our garlic. Remember, crushed garlic is what I'm using today but sliced garlic and fresh is better, but I ran out because I made so much pickled garlic this week that I have no more garlic. A lot of garlic. It's like two and a half tablespoons of garlic, okay guys? Garlic makes everything taste better. What's the serving size? We're just eyeballing everything. So I, you guys, I just eyeball everything. I don't really do measurements when I'm cooking lunch, but um, that was like about two and a half tablespoons of garlic, a whole bunch of tomatoes. <laughs> You could just see it, right? And then some olive oil so far. And I have some sliced onion. Sorry, I'm all over the place today. So I'm trying to talk over this fan and read your comments. You are amazing. Thank you. What do you do? What do you add? Would you help that? smash garlic? That's a lot of garlic. A whole like clove, like clove of garlic, a whole bowl of garlic. That might be too much. Unless you really like garlic. Such a good daughter and mom. I look up to you. You guys are so sweet. You see how my phone screen's keep on going dark? I don't understand why that does that. If you don't touch it for a long time, it's like, oh, should I turn it I off? thought your kitchen was hot. Well, today is actually kind of cold. But I am getting warm now because I'm standing over the, this, this pan. Typically, I'm just cooking over the stove over there. Okay, so while this is cooking, we're gonna throw in the pasta. We have olive oil, garlic, onions, tomatoes so far. And um, in the video, I added white wine, but I'm out of white wine, so we could skip it. But if you guys have white wine, throw it in there. We're making tomato basil pasta. And this phone keeps on going dark. We're gonna throw in the pasta. Don't eat dry pasta. We're going to throw the pasta in the water right now. Can you throw in the pasta? Here. Okay. Okay. This is the pasta we're using. It's called Capelli, if you're just joining us. It cooks really, really, really fast. Just all of it. Just throw in all of it. So we want it to be cooked about 30% through. 
all of this. All of it. Just throw it in there, honey. No, 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 no! In the hot water. Oh. In the hot water. I mean, I guess we could have done that. <laughs> what if I turned around? <laughs> okay. Does your husband cook? Um, he makes like breakfast. That's the only thing like he kind of makes. He doesn't really cook. And fresh basil. Yeah. So we're gonna get some fresh basil here. Like we're almost done with this recipe. How easy was that? Besides the little mess up, we almost messed up our pasta with a noodle. You told me to put it in. <laughs> huh? I was confused of why you told me to put it in there. Oh, I meant like in the pot. I'm sorry, honey. So we're gonna just, I guess we could cut it up, but my cutting board's right there. So I'm just gonna tear it. And like, we're literally almost done. This, my screen, guys, keeps on going dark. And if there's any suggestions, on what to do about that, I don't know Mom, why. it's just like, if you don't touch it, it's but, it's... but if you're live, it shouldn't be the case like that. So I don't understand why my screen keeps on going dark and I have to keep on tapping it. Don't blame her. <laughs> you're doing a good job, honey, besides getting tomato sauce on my TikTok sweater. It's mine. It's mine. Yeah. Okay. So, um, can you watch this real quick so I just watch the pasta? You know, just give you a little snack and then we're gonna cut it. You watch this, I'm gonna cut it. There's like not a lot of space here. So we're gonna cut. I'm gonna cut my basil while my daughter makes this pasta. I don't know what to put in. It's almost done actually. Like, how quick was that? I was hoping that we could do like a 30 minute um, live with you guys. I think our, I think our pasta is almost done in like 10 minutes. Do you need salt? Oh yes, yes. So go ahead and add some salt and pepper. Salt and pepper right there. Like teaching them young on how to cook, they really appreciate the food better. Food always tastes better when you make it, right? Hello, chef. Do you think Shana's doing a good job? Should we give Shana some hearts for helping mommy cook? Oh my god, I didn't know that that wow, what is to say? Oh my god, I didn't know that you wow, thank you for that. What thank you for what? Your phone is on battery mode. Try turning that off. I'm gonna have to look into how to turn it off again. Keep on going. Keep on going. Let's just teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Yeah. So I'm using pink Himalayan salt because I actually think it's less salty than regular salt. Can you mix that up, honey? And we're gonna add the fresh basil in just like one more minute. And I'm gonna scoop up some pasta water in a second because we wanna deglaze this pan because there's so many yummy juices. Let me see if I can show you a closer look. Go ahead. But we want to like get all those juices out around the pan, so we're going to deglaze it. I would use wine, but I'm out of wine, so we're going to use some pasta water and that. Mmm. I'm talking so loud because this pan is so loud. I feel like I'm yelling at you guys. And I'm not yelling you, I promise. <laughs> she doesn't know how she sounds right now. I know. Do I sound really loud? Okay, can you talk in the scarlet, um, the uh, basil that I just snapped? Oh, yes. All of it. I think we need more basil. I love more basil. 
This is just fresh basil. There's nothing like it. Like just <laughs> joining us. We're smacking basil to release the oil. It smells strong. Let's mix this up. Mix this up. While we do it. Yeah. A must try. Very tasty. And like if you guys know, like if you put wine in this and you just let it simmer on a little bit like medium high heat, the alcohol will cook out and you'll just get a little bit more tartness to this flavor of your pasta, which I love. Unfortunately, I ran out of white wine because I gave it to my assistant when she was just here yesterday because we don't drink white wine and I wasn't planning on making this recipe again, so I, to I told her to take the bottle and then now I regret it. But I have all these ingredients left. Love your cooking, thank you. All right, let me just check on our pasta while you're... Let me check on our pasta. Oh, it's already done guys. So we tossed that pasta in in about like three minutes ago and already it looks like it's like 70% done. So I'm gonna grab some pasta water and throw it in here and then we're gonna add the noodles in. And we'll be done, we'll add some grated Parmesan cheese and this dish will be delicious. Delicious. I dropped spaghetti. Oh, it's keep on stirring, keep on stirring. Okay, so why do we put pasta water in? Another reason why we put pasta water in is that it's already salted, right? And it has a, the starch from the pasta, so it kind of thickens. Mom, you spilt it, so you like change it. It's okay. It, it thickens the sauce because of the starch. And, excuse me, honey. Excuse me, honey. And then the pasta cooks in uh, the rest of the water, so it absorbs some of the water. So even though it looks, even though it looks like there's a lot of water in here, the pasta is going to finish cooking in it, right? So we're going to turn this on a little bit higher. Did this turn off? Yeah, I just turned it. Oh, turned off by itself. Oh, because it's wet. Let me just try it. I just turned it off. Hold on a second, guys. Malfunctioning. Induction oven here. Uh, oh, what is what am I doing with this induction? Okay. And we're back. All right. Now for the pasta. Now for the pasta. Hold on. Let's try not to spill this pasta anymore. Can you give me a bowl or something, honey? Like a small bowl. Do you guys like my kitchen assistant? <laughs> I have a kitchen assistant. Thank you, honey. I don't want to spill water every when I'm taking the pasta out. So the pasta was cooking for about three to four minutes. And now we're gonna let it finish cooking in this sauce. And if you guys have like thin spaghetti or just regular spaghetti noodles, then of course cook it for a little bit longer, but the capelli noodles cook really fast. Here, mix this in, honey. Mix this in while I move all this to the side. Ooh. I'm just gonna need a little bit more salt. A little bit more pepper. That was a lot. See, already the sauce is the, the 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 water in the sauce is like reducing, and it's like the noodles are already soaking it up all of it. And in the end, you're just gonna have this delicious tomato basil pasta, and then we're just gonna grate a lot of fresh Parmesan cheese, and we will be good. Oh, dark again. Work again. Um, maybe we could add some clams and shrimp. Yes, that would be good. We could add some chicken. Wash your sleeve. I got this big, big chunk. This is not <laughs> cheesecake. Someone asked last time I put um, 
I put this on my life. And mm -hmm. Someone thought that I was holding a big block of cheesecake. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, look, Auntie Nya's on. Hi, Nya. I told you that. My sister's here. So I actually have Parmesan cheese already here. Oh, this is the old one. Hold on a second. Hello. So we refrigerate our Parmesan cheese, turn it off, and I wrap it in cheesecloth. And the reason why I wrap it in cheesecloth is it keeps the moisture away from the cheese and it lasts longer. Gives it a little better, because once it gets wet, you're gonna start getting moldy, it's gonna start going moldy. So I have this new block of cheese, but because I'm almost out. <laughs> We're gonna to have to fix that later with the um, one dark. Mm -hmm. Oh, here you do this. So now we're just gonna make it rain. Can you bring the camera closer? Here you do this, and I'll bring the camera closer. Shannon, you grate the cheese so they could just see how delicious this looks up close. close. Hold on, mm -hmm. real quick. Let me just toss all these tomatoes on top so you guys could just see oh my gosh okay now we're gonna come in close oh good the, the fan is off so now i could actually talk without screaming at me okay making it rain let me see thank you that's like my catchphrase when i do parmesan cheese Yes, I do watch anime. Look how good this looks, guys. This is it. This is all you need. Let me see who's requesting to go live with me. No. Okay. We're gonna have to do a taste test. But first, we need a lot of cheese because this is like four servings. And the cheese has like, um, Parmesan cheese is like a little bit salty. So it's like adding a little bit more salt to it. Christy's here too. Auntie Christy's here? Yeah. Oh, hi Christy. I was, I was just calling her to see if she wanted to go live with me. All right, time to do a taste test. Let me just add a little bit more cheese. <laughs> Kalia wants some. Oh man, I'm like sweating over this board. <laughs> so the other video that I have right now, we put feta. I put Parmesan, no, I put feta instead of Parmesan cheese. Okay, I think we're good with the cheese. My arm's tired. Last video, the video that I posted, we have, I put feta instead of Parmesan cheese. And it was so good because it's creamy. And I was just trying to hop onto like, you know how it's like baked feta is really, really delicious right now. And like everyone loves it. Can you grab me a fork, honey? Yeah. So I, w I wanted to try it like in this pasta. And so I just piled on the feta. You could do Parmesan, you could do feta. I think that like, I like the Parmesan slightly better because it's more of a classic taste. But the feta was really good because it's like really creamy. I don't want to burn my tongue. Slow on it. Oh, okay. Okay, let's get a little, bit, a little bit of basil and a little bit of tomato, and a little bit of cheese, an onion. That looks so good, I'm hungry. <laughs> it is good. Oh, oh, we have the big feta pasta queen here. Yumna, send me a request. Let's go live with me because we have some questions. Send me a, a request. Yomna's here, my baked feta pasta queen. She trended baked feta pasta. And I posted about it just earlier. How come I don't see a request from you? I wanna go live with Yomna. Let me see. Oh, this is so confusing with these lives. Guys, we're gonna try to get Yomna on. Stick, hang on guys. Let's, let's see if Yomna will come on and talk to me. Those are questions. Okay. 
There she is. I just sent her a request. Can we cross our fingers that uh, Feel Good Foodie is going to come on the live? <laughs> 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 like, how do these things work? I'm so confused with these lives. I know, oh, and okay. I didn't see the button. Usually it says, like, send request. Yeah. I didn't see it. I'm like, I don't know. And then all of a sudden it showed up. Okay. So, so Yumna, I made pasta. And oh, my I gosh. Made... That looks so good. <laughs> and I, this was inspired by your baked feta pasta. And I the one it. I, the one that I posted um, on my Instagram today on my reels has like chunks of baked feta pasta. Oh my gosh! But I used it all for that recipe, so I had to do Parmesan cheese. That okay. looks so good, though. Parmesan is great. You can't go wrong with okay. Parmesan cheese. But okay. I love how you blistered the tomatoes and like yeah. made a sauce out of that. Oh my gosh, that looks okay. so good. Can you give me some tips on how to make the baked <laughs> feta pasta? Because you like made it go crazy viral. I want to oh know <laughs> how, how we make baked feta pasta because I'll go live and make it next Okay. Time. I I'm love everything you did. I think it's so okay. good. It's beautiful. Okay. It's it. like colorful. It's simple. I love everything you did. Mm. I think my one thing I would do is you have to add olive oil, Mai. I did. You did this time? Okay. Okay. I did. In, your video. In, the beginning. <laughs> In the beginning, I did. You did. Okay, good. Okay. I was like, where's the olive oil? That's the only <laughs> thing I would say. Because the olive oil has so much flavor. But oh my gosh, it looks so good. You, you nailed it. I did? You nailed did. it, girl. Okay. Nailed okay. It. Yeah. But this, we gotta this get Gordon recipe. Ramsay up in here so he can critique you. <laughs> so this recipe was inspired by baked feta pasta. Oh, I love it. But like, I didn't want to bake it because everyone else already baked it. And I was like, okay, you did that trend. I cannot do it as good as you. And I'm like, okay, what can I do different? So I just made it in one pan and I topped it with feta and it was so good. Oh, like, I love that. And I love your tip too about adding the pasta water in there because that starchy water like clings to the pasta yes. and creates like the best sauce. It does. It does. Oh, good. Okay. Oh. So what else can I do with feta? <laughs> what else can you do with feta? Oh yeah. my gosh. You can actually, some people ask about like, how do you make it without the carbs? And you can make a dip with it. Like if you bake feta, okay, mm -hmm. have you baked feta before? I did it with potatoes. Okay, with try it. Yeah, if you bake feta with um, just like with tomatoes or with potatoes or anything, basically, oh my gosh, it comes out like so good. And then you can just like dip it with crackers, with pretzels or whatever. It's so good. Okay, so like, is there a thing on your website, on your blog? Because I know you just started your new blog, like reinvented your blog and it looks amazing. Yes. Is there a recipe that I could just type in search feta recipes and that will yes. pop up? Yeah, basically, if you just if you just Google the word feta, my face shows up. So <laughs> honestly, like if I Google feta, you're the, the number one search, which is like ridiculous. It's crazy. I've just had so much feta. I've always just been a huge fan of feta, like sprinkle it on everything. Like uh -huh. it's a staple in our fridge. But so when this when I heard about this recipe, I had to try it. And you, um, you have so to you, tell them how you came across this recipe. Yeah. So it's actually, a, my story. friend, um, Grilled Cheese Social was talking about it in her story. And she was talking about like, turns out it was made in Finland. Somebody made it in Finland. And then she yeah. heard about it from her Finnish friend. And basically, there was like drama going on about the Finnish girl, like who came up with the recipe. And I'm right. like, who cares about the drama? This recipe needs to get on TikTok. So I put it on TikTok. It went viral. And everybody, and then everybody just hopped on it too. What's cool uh -huh. is so many influencers made it because um, like, it's just easy. It's accessible recipes. So I know, I know. Like, I, I saw it go viral and I was just like, oh my God, this is like 5 million views. And the next one has like 4 million views. And I'm like, this. and then it was on the Discover page and everyone was making baked feta pasta. And I was like, okay, I want to make it, but how do I make it different? Because everyone's kind of making it, mm -hmm. you know? I love what you did, though. No, it's so okay. good in the pan because then the, the tomatoes blister and they just look oh. so good. So, yeah. This, this yeah. Is three days in a row, I've made this. That's I know, why I, I, ran out of pasta. <laughs> I, ran, I ran out of feta because I made it like two days already. So now I'm using Parmesan cheese. But I think, awesome. I think, I like, I think I like the Parmesan cheese more because it's more of like a classic Italian dish mm -hmm. with just the Parmesan cheese. But the feta, if you like that creamy... Like, yeah, like salty um, umami flavor in your mouth like it's like really creamy oh yeah then then go with the feta it's almost like a goat cheese how it's like so creamy oh yeah totally oh yeah. yeah and then that's the other one too because people are like well what cheese can i use if i don't like feta cheese and i'm oh, like goat cheese and they're like 
that's not any better, but it did is actually you, the goat cheese melts so well. Did you there. do goat cheese too? I oh yeah, you did? the goat cheese. Oh. oh my gosh, you have to try the goat cheese one. If anybody is a goat cheese fan, you have to make that. And you can add a little bit of honey on it too, just to sweeten it. And then throw tomatoes around it. It's so good. It's so phenomenal. I'm just seeing a lot of Arabic writing, which I don't, I can't read it that fast. I can read Arabic. <laughs> I can't read all that, but I hate Fed, but I love this. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm so, glad. I'm thank glad. Thank you. <laughs> so you guys don't know that me and Yamna are like co-workers. <laughs> basically. basically. And people, people thought we were mad at each other or I was mad at you because I stopped like kind of commenting on your TikTok videos. <laughs> And it was because um, I got really busy and swamped with work that yeah. I had to t take away time from work, right? Or from like perusing on social. But people yeah. are like connecting me with you all the time. So when I don't oh, yeah. comment, they're yeah. like, they're like, you, are, they're like, are you are mad? You, are, you are you guys okay? not friends anymore? What happened? Yeah. <laughs> you and know, what we have to do, um, um, Instagram now has the reaction videos where like, you can duet me on here. Oh. Yeah, they have that feature now. So we have to like duet each other on here. We have to like, I should duet some of your cooking. Because oh, I duetted okay. your kale on, on, um, on TikTok. I have to do it on Instagram too. And that, that video did really well when you duetted me. Right? Yes. Uh, maybe I should, maybe <laughs> so I should duet your baked feta pasta. That'd be funny. Because, <laughs> that would be so like, funny. I know. So we, we need to play around with that. I think it would be awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh, so, and then we guys, were talking yeah. about, uh, what do you guys think of us doing a 24-hour live? <laughs> I know we were yeah. joking about What do you guys it? think? Mai and I, 24 hours live, like, like nonstop marathon. Like we would just switch off, like, okay, I'm going to bed. Like, you, you have it for the next three hours. I need to take a nap. You bring on whatever. And then, like, <laughs> we just switch off and just have, like, a 24-hour live of just, not just cooking, but, like, let's go to the grocery store. <laughs> or be right back. And, and, like, okay, I'm so sleepy. You have to take over and like keep them entertained while I'm sleeping or, you know. <laughs> I think we should do it. I think that would be so fun. We should totally try it. Yeah. And some people are saying, they're like, speak Arabic, but this is not an Arabic channel, guys. Oh. They're, they're writing to me in Arabic to speak in Arabic, but. <laughs> a, we're, we're just cooking, guys. We're just cooking. We're just cooking. This is not yeah. the Arabic channel. We're not, we're not doing any of that. But I wanted to hop on and just kind of see yeah. how that was looking and wanted to compliment you. The dish Thank looks amazing. You. I wish I could. I wish I could try it. All right. It looks so well, good. I yeah. appreciate you hopping in. Everyone, thanks for joining. Me and Yamna are probably going to be texting and calling <laughs> each other all week anyway. Mm. But yeah, thanks for joining my live. This is the first time that we did a to duet live. You're like one of my first guests. <laughs> I know. And next time I'm going to cook and you're going to be your, I'm going to cook something of yours. I might make like uh, maybe pho. vegetable spring rolls or something. Not pho. <laughs> I, can't, I can't commit to pho. <laughs> I'll okay. do something like. I'll do some spring rolls or something. Throw okay. something. Maybe throw some feta cheese in that spring roll. You know. Oh, okay. <laughs> no. I'll I'll make something and then I'll have you come on. All right. Thank you Bye. for joining me. Bye, everyone. Have a good Saturday. Bye. Did I end this live?